It's a very, very hard life. People don't understand, oh yeah, we have it easy, oh, we're playing professional baseball. It's a struggle that 23-year-old Miami native Danny Canella knows all too well. It's tough. I mean, look at today. I mean, I got here at 3.30 and have a game today at 6.30 at night, so... It's, a, it's hard, you know, it's mentally wise. It's very difficult, you know, you're playing 140 games a year. It's, it's hard. By 3.30, he means 3.30 a.m. Off days for these guys are few and far between. It's a daily grind from April to September. The month of May, I don't even think we have an off day. Get to the field every day at around, for 6.30 game, around 1, 1.30. Whatever time the game ends. And that can be late, especially if a game goes into extras. After a long game, they travel, sometimes as much as eight hours, by bus. That's a nine to 14 hour work day. Time is huge, especially for something like this, you know. Canella was a high school standout, even homered three times in a single game. In the 37th round of the 2009 draft, the Detroit Tigers drafted Canella out of high school. He was offered $275,000, but he didn't sign. You know, at 18 years old, you know, being, you know, so homebody, especially being from a Latin culture, you know, how we're so family oriented, you know, going away like that in a spur of a minute, you know, one minute you're with your family, the next minute you're a grown man playing with 25 year olds and you're 18 years old, it's, it's tough. Instead, he went to college to play at NC State. Despite a successful couple of years with the Wolfpack, he went undrafted after his junior year. Canella's spirits dropped along with his grades. And then an injury. A hematoma sidelined him between junior and senior year. It's hard because it's a very touchy situation for me. He decided to focus on his health rather than try out on scout day during his senior year. Then his coach decided to part ways with the senior. Canella thought his career was over. I was talking to an NAIA school and they had really interested in me. They grab a lot of guys, you know, that don't go to D1s that can play the next year. He transferred to Lee University so he could play his senior year. He hit 335 with seven home runs, 40 walks, and just 19 strikeouts. Two weeks after his senior year, an independent league team in St. Louis came calling. Best 65 games I've had in my entire baseball career. And the Cubs called me and told me, hey, you know, we want to sign you at the end of the year. So at the end of the year, they signed me. I was weighing 295 pounds at 5'9 and 3 quarters. It was a second chance for the stocky catcher. But he had some work to do before showing up to spring training in March. He needed to lose weight. I was, up, I was running 9 miles a day, 3 in the morning, 3 before lunch, and 3 right before going to bed. So... And that wasn't counting going to the gym in the morning. That wasn't counting all my baseball activity that I had to do also. He's lost 50 pounds since September. But even with all the hard work, there's a new obstacle for Canella: playing time. He is one of 5,500 minor leaguers, many of them struggling for playing time, all of them fighting for a spot in the majors. The team knows how hard it is. In an attempt to make the lifestyle a bit easier, the Cougars provide most players a host family where they can live for only $150 a month. Julianne DeAngelis and her husband Hank are one of these families. They've been hosting players since 1995. Their four kids are out of the house now, but the baseball family grew up with players around them. I really like Julianne and Hank. They're, they're awesome people. Uh, they have their space downstairs where they live, and basically we give them a, a home to live in, and uh, my goal is to try to make life for them as easy as I can. That being said, I like to cook the meals at night and keep them fed. And the happier and calmer they are in their life, the better they play baseball. So I hope I do all I can to make them be better ball players. DeAngelis and her husband have a knack for picking out guys that will mesh well in their household. While the team does conduct a speed dating event for the host families and players, she and her husband attend spring training every year in Arizona to scope out the guys beforehand. Hank actually picked Danny this year and said, um, you know, I like this kid. He came to me after spring training game and said, I like this kid, Joel. He's, he's a kind of an underdog and, you know, he's a real scrapper and I like the way he plays. And DeAngelis takes the host mom role to heart. Before they move in, I tell them, if you don't want a mom, don't stay with me, there's plenty of host families. But if you want a mom, if you want someone who's really gonna care about you, and then 
you know, will be a good fit. If you like a family situation, then stay with me. And for Canella, who lives away from his two sisters, brother, parents, and godson, the family dynamic helps. But it isn't a cure-all, especially when it comes to his godson. He's three years old, you know, it's, you know, you know, mostly their, god, their godfathers, you know, in life, you know, are always with them, you know, on Easter and stuff like that. So with me, you know, I have to like send him something, you know, like a little club shirt here and there or something like that in order to get his attention, you know, or, oh, when are you going to teach me to play baseball? And he'll like talk to me like that. And, you know, it hurts me because, you know, I can't do anything about it. Being away from home isn't the only difficulty. Time is a rare commodity for minor leaguers. But then again, so is everything. Money is tight. I get paid $1,100 a month with all the time and effort. <laughs> That's stretched thin when you take into account expenses, phone, car insurance, rent, equipment. Gloves, batting gloves, bats, undershirts, like headgear for how cold it is in the first month here, cleats. Canella, a professional athlete, pays for that. They provide with socks, belts, and jerseys and you know, stuff. But my hoodies, my Cubs hoodies and stuff, you know, we have to pay for all those type of things. Even with the host family, Canella still works during the off-season to make ends meet. On the off-season, you know, you're not getting paid, so you have to find a job, which I usually do lessons. Many minor leaguers wind up making less than fast food workers making minimum wage. In fact, this year, a group of minor leaguers filed a class action suit against MLB for unfair wages. For Canella and so many others, there's still the biggest obstacle, playing time. Canella was primarily a starting catcher or first baseman, but with the Cougars, when he plays, he's primarily a designated hitter. At one point I was playing every one to three, one out of three games, now I'm playing every two, ga every two games and hopefully get a start here and there. This is taxing on both his performance and mental state. It's also a position that doesn't exist for the Cubs. You just gotta try to stay focused. I mean, that's the number one goal, you know? Because, yeah, you're right, you know, it's hard, you know, making sure, you know, coming to the baseball field every day, you're not sure if you're gonna be in the lineup or not, and, you know, but your mental game still has to be there every single day. When he starts, he's been fairly successful. Against the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers, Canella had two hits and three RBIs. He hit over 300 in his last 10 starts. But things in baseball change quickly, and unfortunately for Canella, there's been no uncertainty about his place in the lineup for the past month now. He's on the disabled list. He is not injured in any way, shape, or form, but uh, they are allowed to carry a roster of 25, and um, he, they have 26, so they have to hide one of the guys somehow. So Danny got picked to uh, be the phantom DL. So basically it's giving them the ability to carry one more guy. Canella didn't want to talk about it. Essentially, all he does now is batting practice and catches in the bullpen or in between innings. You can tell it affects him. I mean, he, you could tell he's frustrated. You could tell he wants to play. He's always saying he wants to play, even when he was, wasn't on the DL and um, he was playing partially. You know, he still wanted to play every day. Canella has not seen any playing time since the 1st of May, and there's no telling how long he will remain on the disabled list. Out of the Cougars' 53 games played so far this season, Canella has appeared in only 14. His status may have changed, but his attitude hasn't. Never give up.